Hey y'all, Jedi here. We're going to do another Chaos Shadows over here with the last bit of energy we have left. This is going to be Bianca Frey. Hopefully that's how you say his name. For this one, he takes extra cold damage. Um, so we got a team that hopefully will work out. Now the team I'm using, I literally just built this team to try it out. Um, we're going to see how it goes. And here we go. Okay, so I just leveled her up. This is literally my very first time ever using her. I pulled some gear off Eric to try. I just barely got this artifact, so I'm going to test it out, getting the extra ultimate damage. The reason why I built her out is because I had pulled this epic here, who's also Frost, so we can get a little synergy between um, so we're gonna try him out as well. Um, I've had him for a little bit. I leveled him up. I've tried him. I haven't used him a whole lot. Still working on how to get a good build with him. So if anyone in the uh, watching this, if y'all have any ideas on how to use him very well, please let me know so I can start trying to synergize a frost team up for this content. Um, so right now I just pumped up some attack, a little bit of HP. Our defense is pretty bad. I'm probably gonna end up needing to change his build to get that changed up. No scrolls on him. And then we have our OGs in here. Hexandra just got her bumped up a little bit of enlightenment. A little bit of skill haste over there to keep those heals going. Vor the extra heals off him using the gambler set. He's probably going to end up being my biggest damage dealer, I'm sure. And then Furbath here, of course. Always a beast. Using him to soak a little extra damage um, with this ancestral set. As much as we can for now and then uh, I actually might change this out real quick get some more defense out of him and then uh, he could be helping heal out that new uh, melee one okay well we don't have a good defense one on there HP. Hmm. I don't know Let's see Let's see if we have any HP ones with some defense on there need to go and farm some more of these really we'll just uh borrow hers for now and we're just gonna go ahead and take it up we got the gold mine as well and <laughs> triple defense flat that's funny all right so we're gonna try this team out i'm thinking for these two they're gonna run up and be able to team with each other with the way she hits, maybe we should group these three together. So I might try this. We'll see how this goes. And always remember, you can only use them once a day. Hopefully we can hit at least a three mil. It's kind of the goal. Probably should manual and hold Hexandra back. That's all right. So that move is the reason why I separated the group. Um, I was worried about those stuns. I think if the stuns hit up front, it's not as big of a deal. I'm trying to avoid it from hitting Vorash because he's going to be the one pumping out most of the damage, I'm sure. Oh, actually, surprise, this guy's up there. Let's see. Oh, it still hits Vorash. All right. My thoughts on this team was, since I got that epic, I wanted to try to get someone who does extra frost with him, and maybe they could team together on frost. I'm not sure if the frost takes accuracy to land. If so, then we'll have to change up some builds to try it out. It's looking like it probably does. Which I feel like the frost should just land, especially when you have attack champions that can land it. like. They should just be able to land it automatically. We'll see. 
I haven't played with a Frost team yet enough to know how it works. So if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Looks like we'll hit that 3 mil. My goal in these battles is to always hit the minimum 3 mil so that you get enough uh, adventure experience or whatever to make it worth it. Borish falls, and so does everyone else. All right, though we broke that three mil, it's pretty good. Not bad for first time using this team and checking them out. Um, he actually performed a lot better than I expected him to. That's good. I definitely need to play around with the Frost Champs and try to work out how well they synergize together. So that's why I want the three mil, because you get 500 if you hit at least if you don't hit 3 mil on these people and you only get like the 2 mil, I think it's only like 100, so it's not worth doing if you're not hitting 3 mil. Anyways, that was that run. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Nothing too intricate. I just barely built a team. Wanted to check it out. If you guys have any ideas of what I could do to make it better, please let me know. Y'all have a good one.